<clears throat> According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off of the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry. I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We are very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going on here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 1,118,000. One Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhike around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Artie, growing a mustache? Looks good! Hear about Frankie? Yeah? You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. Sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are B men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, Distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome New Hive City, graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Honex Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennae inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honex, a division of Honesco, and a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it! Wow. Wow. We knew that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey, 
begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey that girl was hot she <laughs> i can't <coughs> <coughs> That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She's my cousin. She is? Yes. We're all cousins. <laughs> right. You're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough! Here we have our latest advancement, the Corelman. What does that do? Catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it saves us millions. Can anyone work on the Krellman? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay in that job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you will just work us to death. We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever. That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But, Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees! We are the most ultimately functioning society on Earth! You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please, clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks! Hi, jocks! You guys did great. You're monsters! You're sky freaks! I love it! I love it! I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what.
you can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two, couple of hive harries. Let's have our fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Oh, my. I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry. A puddle... A puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not! <clears throat> You are not. We're going zero nine zero zero at J Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might well be. It all depends on what zero nine hundred means. Hey, Honex! Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you are interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab that stick, and you just move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad. The more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure. He wants to get into honey. Harry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You are going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? 
No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antennae, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting. Stunt bee. Pouring stirrer. Front desk. Hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Picking crud out? Stiller. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. <clears throat> Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendants open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry, the Krellman just closed out. Wax monkeys always open. The Krellman opened up again! What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Deady. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is hard. Heating, cooling, stunt bee, pourer, stirrer, humming, inspector number seven, lens coordinator, stripe supervisor, might wrangler, Barry! What do you think I should... Barry! Barry! <clears throat> okay, I'm losing it a little. That's... <clears throat> oh, this is so hard. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunt be, pourer, stirrer, humming. Inspector number seven, lint coordinator. Stripe Supervisor, Might Wrangler, Barry, what do you think I should? Barry? Barry! All right, we've got the Sunflower Patch in Quadrant Nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh, no. 
I have to. Before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey, guys. Look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. <clears throat> it's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful. That's awful. And a reminder for you, rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this, hot shot? Yeah. Yeah. Bring it on. Wind. Check. Antennae. Check. Nectar pack. Check. Wings. Check. Stinger. Check. Scared out of my shorts. Check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So, blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow. Flowers, 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 flowers. <clears throat> this is Blue Leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees, Roger. Bringing it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here. Sprinkle it over here. Maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen. More flowers. More nectar. More honey for us. Cool. 
I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait. One of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say again. You're reporting a moving flower. Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. This is the coolest. What is it? What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah. Fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees! Candy Brain, get off there! <clears throat> Candy Brain, get off there! Problem? 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 Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey. Because you're about to eat it. Yowser! Gross! There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving! Hi, bee. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday! Mayday! Be going down! Ken, would you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Fold out. Oh no! More humans! I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time? This time! This? Drapes! That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills. Even my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. I prefer the anime with the girl with the scissor blades. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
I predicted global warming. <laughs> I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait! Stop! B! Stand back! These are winter boots. Wait! Don't kill him! You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he is capable of feeling. My brochure! There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume, brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye, Maria. Thanks. Maria, next week, yogurt night. Sure, Ken. You know. Whatever. You could put carob chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right. Here it goes. Nah. What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a bee law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on! No! Yes! No! Do it! I can't! Do it! I can't! No! Yes! No! Do it! I can't! How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good! Here she comes. Speak, you fool! Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking? Yes, I know. You are talking. I am so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and I am not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah. I am talking to a bee, and the bee is talking to me.
I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, Honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah. Bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. <clears throat> I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you all right? No. He is making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So, what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be the ultimate florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. No. My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look... There's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way. I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that.
Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah. Fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. This. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Normally, I just eat the beans straight. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you... Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for before. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway, this can't possibly work. This can't possibly work. He is all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans. I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How do you get back? Poodle. You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick out your job and be Normal. Now, you can pick out your job and be normal. Well. 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 Well, I met someone. You did. Was she bee-ish? A wasp. Your parents will kill you. No. 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 Not a wasp. Spider. I'm not attracted to spiders. I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing. With the eight legs and all. I know it's the hottest thing, with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. So, who is she? She's human. No, no, that's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Maria. Oh, boy. 
she's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no. You're dating a human florist? We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and M-80s. One-eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life. And she understands me. This is over! This is over! Eat this! Eat this! This is not over! What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so sting and stripy. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a Cinnabon is? No. It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There is us, and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He is in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry. I gotta start thinking, B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have a life? You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything? All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this! Maria! We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's B-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. 
they have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena? They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that's every florist's dream. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that's every florist's dream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No. All right. I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay. I see, I see. All right. Your turn. TiVo! You can just freeze live TV? That's insane! That's insane! You don't have that. We have HiVo. But it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh, my. Dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So, you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Lust. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He is not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick N? Save circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about ten pages. Seventy-five is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What is the name of Mighty Hercules is this? Oh. What in the name of Mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Out to be Golden Blossom, Ray Liotta Private Select. Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people? We eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make it. There's heating. Cooling. Stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honey, Barry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot 
of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done. Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something. I knew I heard something. So you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. Where you getting this sweet stuff? Who is your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want is The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You are too late. It's ours now. You, sir. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguano, Ignatio! Where is this honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. Honey farms? It comes from honey farms? Crazy person! What horrible thing has happened here? These faces... They never knew what hit them, and now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where you headed? To Honey Farms. I am onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. He really is dead. All right. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, no! A wiper? Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on! It's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Caswell. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Just a row of... <coughs> <coughs> Just a row of honey jars, as far as the eye could see. Wow. I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, this honey's ours.
Please, hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito. You in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a mosquito? Smack. Smack. At least you're out in the world. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth. Dragonfly. Mosquito girl. Don't want no mosquito. You got to be kidding me. Mooseblood's about to leave the building. So long. B. Sayonara. B. Hey, guys. Mooseblood. I knew I'd catch y'all down here. What you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? Bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. Pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas 3000. Smoker. 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. All the tar. A couple of breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey. And we make the money. They make the honey. And we make the money. Oh, my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah. It doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? This is your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. That's a drag queen. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh, no. There's hundreds of them. There's hundreds of them. Be honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy. That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. How did you end up? How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. 
and they make out. Make out? Barry! We do not! You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees! The bees! I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than the bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one be do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face! The eye! That would hurt. No. Up the nose? That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. One place where it matters. Hive at five. The hive's only full-hour action news source. No more bee beards. No more bee beards. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk, weather with Storm Stinger, sports with Buzz Larvey, and Jeanette O'Hung. Good evening. I'm Buck Bumble, and I'm Jeanette O'Hung. A Tri-County Bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. A Tri-County Bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Packaging it and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on B. Larry King, we'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight, we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm a kid from the hive, I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about B. Columbus? B. Gandhi? B. Jesus? B. Jesus? What about B. Columbus? B. Gandhi? B. Jesus? B. Jesus? B. Jesus? Where I'm from, we'd never sue humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know... They have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week. He looks like you and has a show and suspenders and colored dots. Next week. Next week. Glasses. Quotes on the bottom from the guest 
even though you just heard them. Bear Week next week. They're scary, hairy, and here, live. Always lean forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size ten and a half. Vibrant soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go. Because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting! Frosting? How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So, why are you helping? <clears throat> Bees have good qualities, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great, if you are three, and artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers. Pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing work. Uh, nothing worse than a daffodil that's just a faker. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal. I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home, without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene down here in... It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where the world anxiously waits, because for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think bill <clears throat> You think billion dollar multi international food companies have good lawyers? Everybody You think billion dollar multi international You think billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? What's the matter? I don't know. I just 
Gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B team. Well, if it isn't the B team. You boys work on this. All rise. <clears throat> the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All rise. The Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All tail the Honorable Judge Bumbleton. I don't say that again. All right. Case number 4475. Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson v. The Honey Industry, is now in session. All right. Case number 4475. Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson v. The Honey Industry, is now in session. Mr. Montgomery. You are representing the five food companies collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing. <clears throat> Mr. Benson, you are representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We are ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. My grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm... She believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we live in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what it would mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking bee, talking bee, how do we, talking bee, how do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture, Casper? Uh. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson... Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you will see how, by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he'd dressed like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So Mr. Klaus Vanderhead of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Honron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper, 
I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any B-freeers, do you? No. I couldn't hear you. No. No! Because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fuzzy Bear, Build a Bear. You mean like this? You mean like this? Bears kill bees! How'd you like his head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows? Okay, that's enough. Take him away. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called the police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prince about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name! You idiots! Mr. Leota, first, belated congratulations on your Emmy whim for guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I see from your raisin. <clears throat> I see from your resume that you are devish. I see from your resume that you are devishly, devilishly, dev, devilishly. Oh my goodness! I see from your resume that you are devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil. That's ready to blow. I see from your resume that you're a devilishly handsome. You're a. Okay. I see from your resume that you're a devilishly handsome. This line. I see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet it isn't. But if this... But is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny, helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your line, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep and we can all go home? Order in this court. You're all thinking it. Order. Order, I say. Say it. Mr. Leota, please sit down. 
I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right, legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team! Well, hello, Ken. Hello. I didn't think you were coming. No. I was just late. I tried to call, but... The battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh. That was lucky. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could beat it up. Oh. <laughs> There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So, I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right. There. Right. There. Ken, Barry was looking at your raisin. Just waiting for the email notification to stop. <clears throat> Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You don't think I see what you're doing. I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. Do we? Bees have 100% employee. Uh. Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, that's a lot of pages. Mamma Mia, that's a lot of pages. Mamma Maria. Maria! A lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny. Oh. Remember what Maria said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny. I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Waterbug. Not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues! Well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing. You're bluffing. Am I? Serves up, dude. 
Who water? That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. <coughs> Kenneth, what are you doing? You know I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. We need to talk. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in this life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees. No yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Sayonara, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I'm sorry about all that. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's... I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B. to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Leighton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury, or it's all going to be over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is turn this... <clears throat> the only thing I have to do is turn this jury around. Oh. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B., I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends. Yes, ultra super friends. How good. Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah. Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes. They are! Hold me back! You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees! Don't y'all date your cousins? Objection! I'm gonna pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, 
I'm hit. Damn. Not here. Oh, Lordy. I am hit. Oh, Lordy. I am hit. Order. 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 The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by the winged beast of destruction. I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They are striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I will have order in this court. Order! Order, please! The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal teams stung Leighton T. Montgomery. The script is based so weird. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal teams stung Leighton M. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah, I, I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs, in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all... All... Adrenaline. And then, and then, ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. That doesn't sound so bad. <clears throat> that doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Adam. They check in, but they don't check out. Oh, my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over. It is? Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere.
Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flayman. Yes. Yes, your honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, your honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually had a funny story about... I actually heard a funny story about... Your honor, these ridiculous bugs have taken up enough of this... Your Honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who run legitimate businesses. I move for complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flayman. I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here's your damn smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What? This? This harmless little contraption. This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking or non. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and man-made wooden slot work camps, living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man. What are we gonna do? He is playing the species card. He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees. Free the bees, free the bees, free the bees, free the bees, free the bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Maria, we won. I knew you could do it. You've High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means? You know what this means? You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now, we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion. Uh, this is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the bee way a long time. Twenty-seven million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown 
of all bee work camps. Then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. Take him out. He'll have nauseous. He'll have nauseous? Okay. He'll have nauseous for a few hours. Then he'll be fine. He'll have nausea for a few hours. Then he'll be fine. It says nauseous, but I read it with nausea, too. And we will no longer tolerate B-negative nicknames. But it's just a prince about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey in bogus health products. And la-dee-da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We have never shut down. Shut down? We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your... Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball. Cannonball. We're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be a part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, my. Damn. They're still wild. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Bees, specifically me. 
I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers. Fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. Fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce, that affects the entire animal kingdom. Then, of course, the human species. So, if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't you? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? <clears throat> How do we do it? How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Maria? Maria! Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena. To the final tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. They've moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Maria, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? Roses? Roses! Maria! Roses? Barry? Barry? Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers. Bees. Pollen. Flowers. Bees. Pollen. I know. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry? Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling. But... I have another idea, and it's greater than all my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses, and roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower... I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do 
is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen. Flowers. Repollination. Across the nation. Tournament of Roses. Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Maria Bloom, FTD. Maria Robotnik, FTD. Official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just pick the right float. Once inside, we just pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? Uh, how about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea. Yeah, I got it. I got this, Sonic. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby'll do. Hey, what are you doing? Then, all we do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop! Security! You and your insect pick your... You and your insect pack your float? Yes. Has it been in your possession the entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger? It's part of me. This is who I am. I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then, if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. Attention, passengers. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry. There are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. Barry, th Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. Captain, I'm in a real situation. 
Captain, I'm in a real situation. What do you say, Hal? Nothing. B. Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? I am. I am all of me. Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. What a Miss Maria Robotnik in 24B. Please report to the cockpit. And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dust buster. A toupee. A life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No. No one's flying the plane. No one's flying the plane. This is Jesus fucking Christ. That's, that's JFK, not JFC. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, yes, that's that's definitely the line. Not like this movie didn't already include suicide pacts. This is JFK Control Tower. Flight 356. Flight 356. What's your status? This is Maria Robotnik. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. Barry Benson. Who is that? Barry Benson. From the Honey Trial. Oh, great. Maria, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings. Use and... It's got giant wings. Huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. We're headed into some lightning. This is Buck Bumble. We have some late-breaking news from JFK Airport, where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an encaps... flowers, and an encap... incapacitated. That's Barry! Barry Benson, Fresh from his legal victory, that's Barry, is, de is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? We have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute. There's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no-account compadres. They've done enough damage. 
but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass make no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized. To us. To everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, B, A, start. Hover? Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Barry, what happened? Wait. I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So, it turns out I cannot fly a plane. So, it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do. You copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling! We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. Panicking the hedgehog. I can't do this. Maria, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold on. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? 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 I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. All right, let's drop this tin can on the black drop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You've got to think, Barry. Thinking bee. Thinking bee. Thinking bee. Thinking bee. Thinking bee. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong. Pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. What in the world is on that tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Maria, aim for the flower. Okay. Out the engines. We're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull flower. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. That's the way we like to fuck. Rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo kachoo, or is this plane flying in an insect like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Oh. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No. High five. Right. Barry. It worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. From the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? Are we going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Except keychain. 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 <clears throat> then follow me. Except keychain. Hold on. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah, 
I'm a pollen chomp, and it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now is the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help who's next? Would you like some honey with this? Would you like some honey with that? It is be approved. Don't forget that. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese. Nice of you to all be here. Milk, cream, cheese. It's all me, and I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. The ultimate piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I am late. He's a lawyer, too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I... <clears throat> Barry, I just got this huge tulip order, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Maria. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? All right. Scramble, jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was Dying to get out of that office. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B? Me? Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everyone, can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right. Take ten, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. Really, this, this was unrehearsed. I had no rehearsal for this. Oh, goodness, it's over.